directfix.com presents iPod Touch third generation battery replacement directions. Warning, this content is intended to be used for informational and entertainment purposes only. You're using these video directions and its content at your own risk. AX Microsolution Inc. makes no representation, warranties, or condition of any kind, express or implied. Following these directions on this video will avoid your warranty. You're performing this repair at your own risk. Be sure to visit us on the web at directfix.com for all your parts and accessory needs. At checkout, use coupon code YouTube for 5% off your first order. Using a case opener tool from directfix.com, run it along the edge of the glass touch panel. By running it all the way around the edge of the glass touch panel, this will loosen the touch panel to come out easier. Now with the touch panel loose, you'll be able to lift it up. There is still a ribbon cable connecting it to the board. Pull up on the ribbon cable gently and this will release it from the board. Lifting the LCD up will expose seven small Phillips screws that need to be taken out. Put the LCD back down and then the top left corner there is another small Phillips screw that needs to be removed. Lifting the LCD up carefully as there are still ribbon cables connected will expose the cable that needs to be removed. Using a case opener tool from directfix.com you're going to pry the battery up off of the metal frame. At this point now after removing the metal frame out of the way you will need to stop, use a soldering iron and unsolder the battery from the motherboard. Please be sure to click the link on the right side of the screen to take you to our website directfix.com for all your parts and accessory needs.